What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. You know, I got a tackle problem, and uh, that problem got a little out of control, Black Friday-ish era. Uh, so I've been accruing quite a bit of tackle gear, organization stuff, all that, and uh, just collecting it in a bin. So today I'm going to share with you my accumulation from the winter season thus far, and we'll take a look at some of the gear that I've grabbed, the organization stuff, as well as a whole bunch of tackle from a whole bunch of different places. So this should be fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy content like this. If you do, be sure to subscribe, smash a like, and ring that notification bell so you can see when we drop more unboxings, gear reviews, and fishing videos. Ice is coming soon, so stay tuned. There's going to be some cool ice content. We're going to put our own spin on it so we can stand out a little bit. It's not just going to be fishing on ice, and it's not going to be boring. I can promise you that. But thanks for watching, and also be sure to tune back in Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. We go live right here on YouTube. It's a blast. Love to see you there and talk to you in chat. Plus, we do a ton of giveaways, and we talk to really cool people in the fishing industry. All right, so let's get into the new stuff, shall we? First up, I want to share something I'm really excited about for ice fishing. And that would be these two little babies right here. So these are the Plano Edge 3500 size. Look, there's still a sticker on this one. What am I, what am I thinking? So this is the Plano Edge 3500 size. And they come in a whole slew of different sizes, including the micro jig boxes that just dropped. Now, I thought about getting the micro jig stuff. We looked at them at iCast. They were really freaking cool. However, they're $30 and they hold far less tackle than this does. And I got this on sale on Amazon for 12 bucks. So if you guys aren't watching Amazon for deals on tackle storage, do it. Go look it up. There are apps that can help you track deals. And when the deal drops or the price drops on those, you'll get an alert and then you can go pick them up. That's what I do. I have saved so much money on tackle storage just doing that trick right there. So go check it out. But this was about 12 bucks, so I picked up two of them. So for 24 bucks, we got like all the ice storage done and you get to use fantastic edge quality, man. So we got like the single hinge here, you got the, the watertight seal, and you got all these compartments up in here. And look at how many slots are available. So you could do like all your jigs in this if you wanted to, I did not. I have uh, actually some fly fishing storage that I prefer to use for all the jigs. And I keep all that in this here bucket. Oh, P.S. Check out the uh, the Nico Bates sticker. Oh my God, that's so sweet. So this is the jig storage that I go with, those double-sided jig boxes, which are perfect for flies as well. So we got like hair jigs, long jigs, and then on the backside, like your standard teardrops and different horizontal presentation jigs. And I usually keep one to two boxes of these on me. Here's the second one. This is also double-sided. This one's from Season Tackle, actually and you can fill it up there double-sided as well. This one is foam. I prefer silicone for sure. It's just much better. But the cool thing is I can keep two of these in here, one with the big baits. You can see we got like that Roto-Grub thing that I opened on Monster Bass before. We got blade baits in here. We got lipless baits. So we got like Guggen, some Lindy, some HD Ices. We got the uh, Perch Talkers, all sorts of just bigger, bulkier stuff goes into this one and it fits right into the ice bucket. And then this one, this one's gonna have like all my spoons. We got some mule fishing stuff over here, pink chartreuse and white. We got some different weird stuff up in this corner. Jury's out on if that's gonna work, but yeah, all sorts of stuff that I've been accruing throughout the season. I could probably fit two more in this bucket actually, if you look at it from this angle here, check this out. So if I lay them this way, I can still throw my organizer in right up on top. I could really fit four boxes of those. And that would be more ice tackle than I possibly need, considering we get to ice fish probably like four or five days a year. And on the topic of ice fishing, there was one more really cool thing that I picked up that I'm pretty stoked for. So this is from Clam, and this is a bait binder for all your ice gear. This thing's sick. It's got tons of zipper pockets, and they've all got this like high strength mesh on it. So you're not gonna scuff this up. It's got like little grippy pads here, reinforced. So this thing is not gonna fall apart. It is built like a tank. So I'll throw in like weird stuff like bobbers and sinkers and stuff up here that I don't use that often. And then within these different compartments, one of them is for all my clamshell plastics. So that's all in there just because they're bulkier. And the other one, got like some pre-rigs up in this sleeve, but this, compartment right here is actually a binder for all your plastics. So we got all sorts of plastics in here, organized the best I could, and it fits nicely into this little package. And then that, 
And then that fits into the bucket, super easy too. Check it out. So we got our bait binder, all of our Planos in there. And then you just pop this guy right in on top, throw on your lid. There's an insane amount of stuff in this here bucket. And if you want more info on the bucket, I made a video a while back. I'll just post a link to that here. Beyond that, we got a whole bunch of baits here. Uh, we've got some Wu Tungsten, we got Six Sense, we got a Debo's fishing lure. I'll hit that in a second. And then we got some Project Swim Bait. Swim baits? That I just picked up as well. So check this out. Let's start with the swim baits. So I got two here from Project Swim Bait. I got the Trace we're gonna look at, but I think we should start out with the Debo's fishing. Check this baby out. Boom, shared this on my Instagram a little while back, but we got a multi-jointed swim bait here, which is looking pretty darn fly. Some upgraded awesome trebles. These are my favorite kind of trebles to have on really any treble style bait. But this thing is gonna have mad action. Look at the flash on this thing. I mean, I've said it once before, I'll say it a thousand times. Debo's Fishing makes great lures and you guys should definitely go check them out. So check out Debo's Fishing, check out Debo's Fishing Lures on Instagram. That's where he posts like pictures of all the baits that he's making. And uh, yeah, they are, they are great. They are fantastic. Look at the eyes. I love the eyes on this one. It's just a mean old fish. Oh yeah. And uh, throws his, his little signature on there. Look at that. So we'll get to test this out as soon as we get open water here again. I'm excited for it. And then I just had a subscriber who makes these baits uh, out in California, Northern California actually, uh, ship these out to me. So go check out projectswimbait.com if you're digging them. We've got two different colors here, the bone and the pink and or rose, whatever you wanna call it. I'm a big fan of both. I think these are gonna be dope. All right, so these are both called the Glide. They are 7.2 inches and 3.2 ounces, AKA they beastly. This translucent one here shows you all the weights in there. Absolutely ridiculous. So I feel like we're gonna be able to cast these a mile and they look like they're gonna have some pretty stellar action here as well. They seem to be built really well. I love the design. This bone color really gives you a better picture of that. Look at that. And then you've got the nice malleable plastic tail here, which looks replaceable as well. It's got the little notch. So you can probably slide that out, swap it out for something else. Got some pretty like, to, to me, like light wire trebles here on this, uh, but it looks like it's got that salt coating. So they're less likely to rust, which is nice. Yeah, just look at the eyes on that. Really well made, look awesome. Seem like they're gonna fish really well. Excited to try these babies out. The big bait collection has been really growing lately. <laughs> All right, so next up is the Trace. I don't think we've unboxed this on this channel. At least I haven't. Paul has this one. Uh, so this is my first one. So this is a multi-jointed swim bait. Check that out. I opted for the good old bluegill spawn color. This natural bluegill tends to do some work. 4K gill is actually one of my favorite colors that Sixth Sense has. But I was really interested just to see how this was gonna like fish compared to some of the other swim baits that I've been picking up. Like I said, big bait selection has really grown. I wanna start putting them to the test. I wanna fish them against each other. The nice thing about this, other than uh, you know just the, the foam box is like fantastic. I think they did a great job with that, is that these come with a spare tail, and that tail, didn't know this until now, is actually like a Laztec. Check this out. So super durable. Seems like that tail is gonna hold up pretty darn well, but also at the same time, it's gonna have way better action than those like hard-ish plastic tails that you get. So it seems like it's gonna add a little more of a natural feel or presentation when this thing is in the water. So here's the bait. Nice design, I like the little scale presentation there, I like that. It's got those multiple hinges here. So we've got two main jointed sections and then you get an added joint back here with this tail. And what I did notice, and this is a question I definitely have for you guys in the comments or anybody at Sixth Sense is, uh, what the heck is this though? This looks like it's torn. And at first I thought like this was a defect or something and then I looked at the spare tail, check this out. It's there as well. So it looks like it's just supposed to be molded that way, but it's kind of like a funky shape to it. I don't know, maybe Sixth Sense has already addressed this, but there's your little notch, so you can slide these things out, tear it out, do whatever you gotta do, and then pop in the spare tail. They also sell these tails, 
uh, depending on like how stock is going with them, but you can pick up extra tails, different color tails, all that stuff. So you can replace them. I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm curious. Like that notch looks really funky, almost like a defect. Maybe it's supposed to look that way. That's just, uh, I don't know, interesting. Still though, like presentation wise, this is solid. And they're not that expensive, it's kind of crazy. All right, let's dig into this bin. Take these out right off the top. You guys have seen us unbox these on the channels before. The large bait bag, which I think is solid for all your main plastics, especially clamshells. So I'll be filling that one up. And then I actually picked up a small bait bag, which is yay size, not too shabby. And I like this for maybe your smaller bait. So I'm thinking maybe this could be my finesse bag, throw all my neds in here or something. And I mean, again, like the main reason that I picked these up for one is uh, they don't take up a lot of space. They can fit in the cargo storage at the bow of my boat. So in the Hobie, in the Snorlax, I can pack a whole bunch of these in there. And then they also fit under the seat. So I actually did away with, I used to have one of these under my seat on the kayak most of the time. And instead of doing that this season, it's gonna be these. So I got like creature baits in this one, for example. And you can pack these things heckin' full. So everything I should need is in here. It's easy to use, fits right in there. And uh, I'm excited to try it out for the season. Then of course we'll have these as well. So we got the, the large zipper bags and those will be probably up in the front, um, but potentially could sit behind the seat as well. But these are also great for like tools and stuff. Or in this case, I stole this idea from Paul, check this out. This is full of all my spare line. So just a, a place to keep all the line. Oh my gosh, I was looking for this electrical tape. See, this is ridiculous. Anyways, found my electrical tape, Paul. Uh, there's your super glue, you know, whatever you need. It, like, it'll just go in this utility bag. And that's just in the front of the boat. Easy access. So I figured, why not pick up another one? I was excited to try these out, so check these out. These were just on sale, Black Friday-ish. I mean, they were basically free. So these are the Flex Fish Sunglass Keepers. So there you go, it's got this little slidey thing. I uh, don't think I'll move it at all once I get this thing set up, but let's try it. Just so happens I have a pair of Waterland sunglasses here that we could throw these on. Uh, by the way, if you want to pick up some Waterland sunglasses, use code BURLY15 for 15% off. Casual plug. Oh yeah, so they slide right on there. Perfect. Nice and easy. Never really been like a big sunglass retainer guy. Uh, unless I was wearing a pair of Costas, which I never wear anymore. I don't even know where they are. They're somewhere in this house. I just wear my Waterlands now, but... There you go. So we got our sunglass retainers. Stays on there nice and snug. It's actually got a little stretch to it, which is kind of cool. I would probably keep this little six thing way back. Hit. Well, these sunglasses are heckin' dirty. Look at that. There you go. I might try it. Do I look like a dork? I look like a dad at a baseball game. That's this move. Oh wait, maybe it's like, you just keep them on your neck like this. That's a dad move for sure. Tell me your dad didn't do that. Oh man. They really go on snug. Wow. Cool, cool, cool. Neat, neat, neat. Yeet, yeet, yeet. So the rest of this box is a mixture of baits and weights. Baits and weights. All right, so let's check this out. I'm gonna hammer out the Wu Tungsten real quick. So Wu Tungsten did a pretty crazy couple of deals over uh, Black Friday. There was a lot of super cheap stuff, some weights for like a dollar, it was ridiculous. So I picked up as much as I could. Uh, namely, these quarter ounce drop shot tube weights. These are my favorite in green. These are fantastic. They work so well in Michigan. I love them. So these are the pinch tie. You can see that little pinch point up at the top. And quarter ounce is just a money move. Uh, we're probably gonna be doing more like power shotting, so more aggressive, subtly aggressive drop shotting this year. So I figured having uh, a nice stock of quarter ounce, three eighths ounce, all the way up to like a half ounce, those are gonna be weights that I'm gonna be throwing. And I might even have to go heavier. So we might pick up some more. But then I picked up these as well, and you can see the line tie is totally different. So that's like the little ring tie. A little different approach to it. Do like a Palomar or an actual fishing knot on this one instead of the pinch knot, which I think is nice. I feel like I'm gonna lose these far less. Uh, and if I do, if that tends to be the case, then I'll probably start picking more of these up. We picked up some shakies, Wu Tungsten shaky heads. Tungsten shaky heads are fantastic, super fun to use. Uh, I feel like the, the angle of your screw lock to your hook is actually really nice as well. And then I love this like flat style. 
not good everywhere, but this is something that works most of the time for me. So I had to keep a stock up and these are three eighths ounce. Next up, we went with some never chips and some regular tungsten flipping weights. A couple different weights that I went with, my kind of main go-to would be that half ounce for a flipping setup. These are fantastic. Flipping the kind of cover that I end up dealing with, that's like a go-to weight. But if I want to flip lighter cover, get a little finesse, we go down to the one eighth ounce. And uh, I only picked these up because they were basically free. It was a dollar for this pack, but I also have five one sixteenth ounces. And um, I've never flipped something this small before. I don't know if you guys have, you let me know, but I can see this as a super finesse presentation. Figured why not try it out. Okay, all the rest of the stuff I got was Carolina rig based. You guys know I've been geeking out over Carolina rig ever since our St. Lawrence trip. And I'm really looking forward to improving that technique this year. It's gonna be one of my favorites to do. And I actually set up a whole new rod for it. Having thrown it on both a spinning rig and a casting rig, I opted to go with a spinning rig setup for the Carolina. You guys saw me pick up this reel a little while back. That's the Kalon 2.0. That is from 13 Fishing and a 2500 size. I'm loving it, love the handle. It's a fantastic looking setup. This whole rig is black and silver and gray, which is just juicy to me. And then we've got that on our medium heavy Saros from Akuma, which I haven't even really used yet because I mostly use my light and my medium light. So I'm stoked to get this thing set up and start fishing Carolina on it more specifically. So for the Carolina rig setup, I opted to go for a whole bunch of different barrel weights, just throw something different. This is what the guys were throwing in the St. Lawrence, so I figured why not? I mean, I'll try it, let's do that. And then I've got like my normal tapered, like worm weights, flipping weights, if it gets into more heavy grass cover, but depending on where I'm at, I wanted to have some of these as an option as well. So we got a three quarter ounce right here. We got some quarter ounces, comes in a three pack. And those are in the never chip. Then we got the regular painted stuff in black. And we got two different weights here with the three eighths and the one half ounce. So giving me some options, I'm excited to try those out. And I know these aren't necessary, but I really like throwing some beads on there. So I picked up some red and some black beads. Why not? Because I lost a bunch when I got bit off a few times. You get bit off once, you lose all your beads and all your whole rig. So figured why not just stock up. So we've got plenty of these to go around too. All right, boring stuff done. Last thing we got some six cents baits that I ended up picking up. Uh, number one, just had a restock here. Pick up some quarter ounce, three aught shaky heads. Big fan of these shaky heads with that like offset hook setting. Look at that. These things are juicy. Green pumpkin, that would be the go-to. Quarter ounce, great weight to throw around. Also, I told you 4K gill, juiciest color on the market just about. Look at these babies. So we got the flat 75X, looking for springtime slamming on this baby. And then we've got the Hyper Jerk. So I have one other color that I use for the Hyper Jerk right now that's more of a shad pattern. And I figured why not try this baby out in 4K gill because I always have such great luck with that. So we got the Hyper Jerk 70 right here. Interesting jerk bait. They come in both saltwater and freshwater variations. This is bluegill, obviously freshwater, but they've got a nice dressed treble off the back end. I love the, the darker pattern that these 4K gills come with. Got crazy colorway on the belly of it. Nice heavy rattle to it. A little gunk on that eye, that's unfortunate. But anyways, eyes are decent. <laughs> and then your line tie being on top, they have a very interesting like twitching motion that they go through. So it doesn't really fish like your standard jerk bait. It's a little bit different, but um, yeah, I like them a lot. And of course, here's that Crush 75X. I heckin' love it more of a hard knock to it and just a juicy colorway all around. Flat sides are fantastic, typically in that colder weather season of open water. So we're talking fall and spring. I'm excited to throw that around. <laughs> I think this one was on clearance. Some of the stuff I pick up from Six Cents is just, I go to their clearance section. I'm like, what can I have for basically free? And uh, then I use Justin Royal's code to get an extra discount. And you guys should do that too. This right here, I had to have, just because Fire Tiger is like a go-to color here in a lot of different waters in Michigan. And I just thought it looked freaking sweet. So this is called the Thud, it's the 70. And that's why it's called the Thud. 
crazy green eyes with that black ring, you know, just listening to my chemical romance up in my room, hating my dad. Just kidding. But uh, <laughs> that's what that look always reminds me of, like this black makeup here. But these things are sweet. Uh, the thuds, the quakes, I, you know, the snatch. I love all these liplesses that they offer. I love the flat set up here up on top with the tapered middle section where your line tie goes. I feel like that gives it great action. And then of course, you know, fire tiger baby. All right, so these next three are all brand new baits that Six Sense has dropped and they've been restocking like on again, off again uh, for a while. And this first one I am freaking jazzed about. So this is called the Munch 40. And this baby comes in seven sixteenths of an ounce, so almost a half ounce. Uh, 2.5 inches in length. It's a little guy. And you know those finesse body baits crush up here. And of course I had to get it in Black Magic, one of my favorite colors of all time. Check that out. So we got that black, that blue, amazing eyes on these things. Just great, the opaque lip. But this is what sets it apart. Oh yeah, and obviously 4K gill. What did I say? So <laughs> I've got a 4K gill stock and a Black Magic stock here. So here's your 4K gill there. Nice orange hue on the belly, big wide clear lip, bright blue on the eyes, I'm loving it. So with these, you get this like really wide, look at that lip, really wide lip. So this is a very similar lip to some of the other baits that Six Sense have that give you like this crazy erratic action. And then they just went and stocked it up on a very small crankbait. So this is not like a typical square bill, it's gonna have a completely different action from that which I'm excited to see. So can't wait to fish this thing, see what it looks like in the water. Um, already stoked about it. I love the size of these baits and I think that they're gonna do great for us come spring. Check that out, nice. Last one, barely got this and they finally restocked after I bought it, but <laughs> it's a little heavier than I wanted to go, but that's fine. I needed to just see it, test it out and get an idea. But this is the Axle in three quarters of an ounce and it's in one of my favorite swim jig colors that they offer, which is black light. So black light is a black and blue plus purple. But let's take a look, see. I haven't even gotten this in hand yet. So if you don't know, the axle is a swim jig with a hinge. Look at that. So we've got a swinging swim jig. Very interesting. It's already swinging like football jigs and different kinds of swinging jigs, rugby jigs, whatever. Uh, but I have not seen at least I haven't seen, a swinging swim jig. So what we got is we got a free moving screw lock here. We've got this offset hook, which is stout AF and on purpose because this is three quarters of an ounce. You've got your, your purple, your blue in there, and then up on the head, your jig head here, black with those crazy flashy green eyes. You gotta love that. And yeah, this just moves freely. So throw paddle tails, craws on here. I'm gonna throw a kamikaze swim on, maybe in a darker color. Uh, I think it's gonna look juicy. Look at that, that's crazy. Never seen anything like this, so of course I had to get one and try it out. I'm excited for it. Uh, I'm gonna fish it low and slow probably because it's three quarters of an ounce, but if I can pick up some lighter weight ones, I'm gonna do that too. All right, guys, there you go. That is pretty much all the stuff that didn't make it into other unboxings since Black Friday. So I've been just accruing a lot of this. There's a lot of ice fishing stuff, lots of weights. I'll definitely restock terminal throughout the winter season. And then I'll just pick up baits whenever they're on sale. I don't typically restock any plastics because uh, I got plenty. Even after we ran all those giveaways on our autism anglers drive, like I still have eight of these under my desk. Like it's ridiculous. I seriously try to get rid of it all, but uh, yeah, I don't need to be buying plastic. So I typically will buy like the jigs, the terminal, the hard baits and restock that, especially if anything new comes out. So if you guys have any suggestions on things that we should be picking up, hit us up in the comments below. We appreciate any assistance there. If you guys like the content, be sure to subscribe, smash a like, ring that notification bell so you can see when we drop more of it. And then come back Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. We go live, we do giveaways, we talk to cool people. It's a ton of fun. We'd love to see you there and talk to you in chat. That's all I got for today. Hopefully you're having an awesome day and we'll see you on the next video.